Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I'm hanging out in Aruba right now. I've got a beautiful flight for you guys coming down here and uh, I'm here for a couple days. As you can see, I've already got me a nice little suntan, borderline sunburn, but it's gonna come out really nice. Uh, we're staying at the Renaissance Hotel, which is at the marina. You can see there's a boat yard right here behind us. It took a little boat ride yesterday. In fact, uh, tried to catch some fish unsuccessfully. It was a big disappointment, but that's all right. Um, so the uh, Renaissance Hotel actually owns a small little island just offshore. It's like a 10 minute ride over there. I'm gonna bring you guys over there and let you guys check it out. It's called uh, Flamingo Beach. They do have flamingos over there that is really beautiful. So we're gonna go over and uh, check that out. But in the meantime, why don't you guys check out the flight to come down here. Uh, I was hanging out with my boy John. We had a good time coming down. So check that out. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna make my way over to the island and I'll see you guys afterwards. All right, man. Okay. I'm ready. And tower, Hawker, and it's holding short one, four, and Foxtrot, ready. We're at three, two. Hawker, fly runway, heading, maintain 1,500, runway three, two, clear for takeoff. Three, two, clear for takeoff, runway, heading up to 1,500. All right. Okay, I'm going to take you out of NAV, Rupert. Okay. And, uh, time to blue, you are heading again. Okay, line up tracks, we got lights coming up. Three, 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 any ice not needed. Master warning system is clear. APU on. Looks good. Uh, fats. Flaps or brakes. Speeds, trims. All looks good. Okay, and I have your tops. All right, we're clear for takeoff. Runway heading up to 1,500 feet. And I got 3-2 out the window. Here we go. Power set. And power medic. APR armed. Airspeed allowed both sides. Eighty knots. My top. B one and rotate and positive right. Zero. Up twenty one. Cross runway three two. Cross runway three two. Up twenty one. And 400 Flaps feet. Flaps up after takeoffs. And 500 for two. Parker's on take departure, good day. Over departure, take care. That was inside 1,000 to go. Morning departure, 900 for 1,500. Police departure radar contact, call and maintain 7,000. 7,000. I see 7,000. Conquest 441 with you, Julia, at 6.5 VFR. 441 with you, Julia. Thank you, Altimeter 2903. 903, thanks. We got a uh, Zulu block. We'll get to anyone here in a minute. Roger. Turn right, heading of 110. Proceed direct to mix A. Resume the departure. 110, direct mix A. Resume the departure. Did you All right. Two o'clock in email. Okay, I'm gonna send you a direct mix. A. Thank you, sir. You hotel clear visual approach to runway two eight right. Avin. Tower one one nine or point one. Good day. For visual two eight right, not team one, not two hotel. November one whiskey delay. Contact Miami approach one two six point zero five. Good day. Twenty six zero five. You have a good morning. Four four one whiskey delay. Okay, views coming off. All right. After takeoff checklist complete. Thank you, sir. Silverwing 77, just going to maintain 7,000. 7,000. Want to go? Six for seven. That sun is in my I face. I wish I grabbed my sunglasses. Pilots on. Roger, see. Contact Miami Center, 133.4. Good day. 133.4 and take care. Good morning, Miami, 7000. Alright, Miami Center, hello. Three, all my cell center, 2992, stand by for her. 2992. Southwest 749, Wilmington. 
District, Wilmington, South. Good thing we got lots of fuel. It's been a while since I flew there. with fuel in the ventral tank. It's kind of weird seeing the red line at 280 line at 280 speed. Yeah, we don't have to do it too often. Yeah. W1520, call me maintain level 370. Okay, and you're at your 12-mile mark. I was just watching that. I was waiting for it. Yeah. International waters, here we go. Great minds think alike. Can't do 300, but I can get a few more out of it here. Call me maintain 1-1000. One one thousand. Decker one twenty seven, go ahead. Decker one twenty seven, uh, have your request. Good morning, Miami, Charlie Golf, Fox, Fox, Tango, we got a 10 5 for 16. One, Nobody needs to turn that light bulb off out there. Yeah, here, you want a uh, face shield? Yeah. Uh, it's like right here. Yeah, we're not going to, it's going to be hard to get. One right there, except for this. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. That's for sure. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. Uh, it's I don't know if that was worse or not. <laughs> I'll help a little bit anyway. Uh, it's not the bad, actually that's not bad, right there. Yep, I always forget the suppressors. Rookie move, Junior, rookie move. And they're right there in the backpack. Once we get up to altitude, yeah. I'll let you put on the oxygen mask and I'll... Yeah, go get it. Yeah. No worries. We do have a climb diff and good flow on this side. Same over here, oxygen quantity looks good. And let's see if you had higher for us. That's over there, thank you. Who else called? 11,000, see if you had higher for us. I uh, have higher for you about seven seconds. Okay, one, two, five. He lied. He lied. He, he said liar. seven seconds. Good morning, we're at 1008, uh, 10 six, coming one six thousand. That's right. I'll cut him a little slack. Clear direct Joseph, climb maintain 15,000. 1-5,000, direct Joseph. Alright, I got Joseph in there. Clear direct Bama. I see 15, coming up. Direct Bama. 500 Bama. miles away. Bama, we keep 15,000. Yeah, that's the, that's the FIR boundary, if I remember correctly. Uh, next gen, NEXG. We're just going to be FIR to FIR, you know, boundary to boundary. Next year, Center, hello, climb 18, level 410. Can you climb 410? Climb 410. Yeah, we just got those set. Charlie Golf, Fox, 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 Tango, climb and maintain, flight level 410. Yeah, hopefully, well, we'll have some wind, hopefully it'll kick it. Yeah, I can put it over here. Just going to hold it like this, this is crazy brain. Here, you need Here. this. Yeah, you may put it over <laughs> here. <A little laughs> it's help. so bright. <laughs> Watch the airplane for a minute, will you? Yes, okay. We're at 1,000, looking good. 1,500 feet okay. per minute. Does that help at all? No, for you it looks great. Yeah. Me, I, I'm tall. Oh, luckily. yeah, you're, you're on. Okay, you're good. Spare wings 414, 11-2, climbing 16,000. 414, Miami Center, hello, climb and maintain, flight level 350. What's the flight level 350, screw 414. Climb and maintain, flight level 410. 410. All right, let's stand this thing up. I've been milking it a little bit to not go crazy, but well, uh, let's do it. She I might struggle getting up there initially anyhow. Yeah, we got, we got a lot of gas. We'll see what the temperatures are. Hello. We gotta level Everybody. off a little early, we can.
Are we in area? Five more minutes. <laughs> I'm just gonna switch it now. Yep. It's the same. Sorry, who's left? Okay, lights are coming off. Good flow, as we said. You got good yep. oxygen. Okay. 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 We do have climb diff, looking good. Cool. Climb checks complete. Cool. Out there, you don't go into HF on this way, right? It's just on the way back. Yeah. No, south we shouldn't go into HF. Not, just north. My other frequency, one two five point seven. NASA altimeter two nine nine six. Have you uh, done any trips over over to Cuba? Uh, I've done. Uh, I've been to Cuba three, three or four times. Once was Guantanamo Bay. No, twice was Guantanamo Bay. Uh oh. Yeah, twice Guant Guantanamo, and then two to um, <coughs> two to Havana. For the past yeah. years, wearing masks before COVID. Um, this <laughs> was way pre-COVID, and uh, they were not wearing masks, but they were definitely in shackles. Ah, sketchy. Yeah. A government flight. Yeah. Yeah, is it still a little warm out? Yeah, it's still warm, warm but I think it's going to come down. Julie? Well, yeah, it looks like we're getting almost on top of the haze. And usually right above that, it starts to cool down like yeah. crazy. You get that inversion. I always notice when you go above 43, temperature drops. Like 47 yep, was always negative. Contact mining center, one, in the, two, uh, seven, in the point summer, two, yes. Two. Winter time, though. I've two, seven, crossed the Atlantic two, at 43,000. It was like plus 15, plus 18. Yeah, it's winter it's time. Crazy. The uh, warm air goes up. November 81 Alpha Juliet, mining center, clear direct Acme, and the uh, Fort Lauderdale altimeter is 2990. Offer contact Miami Center 127.22. 12722, take care. Morning Center 31.6 for 410. Miami Center, good morning. Break step 2237, Miami Center, radar contact, Leeton intersection after Leeton, clear direct. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the highest elevation in the Caribbean right here. I don't remember how, tight, how tall it is, though. I gotta look it up. I think the, the tallest one is over there. It's like uh, 5,000 feet or something. Yeah, it's probably a filter on here on that, just to see yeah. the height. I'm, you probably don't have a subscription yeah, for terrain I, I need, or download it. I need Wi-Fi to get it, probably, but I have to look it up, but, yeah, it's a couple thousand feet, like four or five thousand feet, I think, over there, maybe even more. But. Yeah, I didn't lose anything in Haiti. It does look like it has a lot of natural beauty, though, I'll give it that. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, also you can do that first, but we'll do a decent check. And I think you already did it. If yeah, I decent. How we're set and um, just any briefing items. Uh, we'll brief the approach once we know it, but I'm planning on the ILS Yankee is what I'm expecting. Get rid of this. You mind sticking that behind me whenever you have a minute? I'll watch the fuel. Yeah. You're still okay. Hey, yeah, uh, it's gonna take a while since yeah. we're idle. Oh. You need me to move up or you? No, I'm good. I just missed it. It's like the little thing he likes to close on you. And they are using 1-1, uh, one, one, you said, right? Yes, 1-1. One, cool. one. I said expect ILS 1-1. One, one. Cool. Okay, that's not bad. I'm leave it there. Curacao Control, Yankee Victor 2, Adrian Anna, 
if possible, direct to Kiss Association, please. Looking good on fuel. I should just see if we can get direct Igrom. I was thinking about that a minute ago. She may give it to you. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll just ask. In Carousel, see if we could get direct Igrom for the ILS 1-1. One, one. Roger, direct to Igrom as approved. Direct Igrom, appreciated. Good day. Good day. Good day. Curaçao, control Copa 107, próximo Sorosa 370. Copa 107, recibido y... Confirma su transponder. 0260, Copa 107. I wish the United States would do this more and to set you to final approach, uh, approach fixes. Yeah. Just set you it's right just up. so much easier. Jets are yep. so designed for this. Yep. I hate 0260. when they try to give you a bunch of visuals and honestly it's just like slows things down. So like, if you put everyone on like a seven mile final on an ILS, Every plane would descend perfectly and safely into yeah. your airport. That's the way Europe does it. I mean, you don't, the vectors don't exist, well, very little, but uh, far more, you know, send you put you on an arrival, error. it's a feeder right onto an ILS, everything links up, and, and that's it. If you want to high-end fly it, guess what, you got perfectly, Yeah. it's going to tell you how to fly it, but... I've what's been to the, some places. Uh, what's the QNH down there? Uh, 2988 or 1012. One two? Oh, okay. Not too much. Yeah, pretty much standard. Okay, I'm gonna hit the approach checks anyways at 18. Do it. Yeah, the altimeters will set them. No, we'll Flight get those down lower. The, uh, yeah. Like we said, transition level's 4,000. Flight deck valve is closed. Exterior lights will turn on. Cabin notice is not needed. Seats are on harnesses on the right. On the left. No smoke steering. Um, it is clear. And fuel is balanced and sufficient. Numbers are sent and verified. Approach checks complete. All right. I'm assuming that's all I talked to. Maybe approach. Yeah, they may. I bet they'll hand you off to approach. But maybe not. Well, we'll find out. We'll throw approach in first. Copa 107, contact radar, nivel 370, y dirígese el directo a Palas. Directo a Palas, contact radar, 370, Copa 107. Aruba. Never been here. Uh, nice little one to get on the box. Yeah, it's a nice little area. Good spot for a vacay. Yeah, I think my mom did her honeymoon here back in the day. I feel like this uh, part you could find pirate. Uh, pirates at. Oh, yeah. For like sure. for real, like down yeah. here, Venezuela, off of Panama and Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. All right, coming up on 10,000. I'm going to keep the speed up a little bit longer until we get a little closer. Sounds good. We're over like 30 miles away. Yeah. Centro Copa 110, próxima vez que para el campo. Should I let her know when I'm level at 7? Because uh, I'm not in radar? Yeah, I would. Because yeah, I feel like I should be talking to approach or something. Uh, radar services terminated, Beatrix 118.0. 118.0. Perfect. Morning approach, 8,000 for flight level 7,000. Good morning, Beatrix Sauer, QNH 1012. Aids information Zuru, Rick, clear direct to Dabla, continue descent to 2,500 feet. Clear for the ILS, you'll approach runway 11. 
and 2,500 feet and direct Davla and cleared for the ILS 11. Okay, got 2,500 set, and right. you got Davla. I see. Oh. I go ahead and throttle back. <laughs> flight level 8,000. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How about flight level 70? Hey, the shortcuts. <laughs> it's a little weird. It is. That. It's not. It's not like a part of my vocabulary. Yeah. Too often do I say flight level seven zero. Oh. Yeah. He completely got what I was going for, though. Oh yeah, he he sees it all the time. He was like <laughs> flight level eight thousand American. <laughs> okay, approach checks are complete. We are one zero one two still. Localizer frequency looks good. Turn it all the way down. It's hot down there. That was what ninety. What's the what's the Celsius down there? I think it was twenty nine. Okay. So yeah, yeah, almost. I did say it was few, uh, what, 1900 or 18 or something like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and we're on with tower. Twenty-seven one. I'll write that down. All right, got island in sight over here. You do go. Okay. Yeah. And 35 for 25. All right, and we can't set in. One zero one two. I see that sign. 35, 25, one to go. God, it's hazy down here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna report Davla. Easter Bahamas always having me report. And crossing Davila, Davila at this time. Roger, wind 110 degrees to the knots, runway 11 clear to land. 11 clear to land. Alright, 2,000 yep. feet up top. Okay, you want 2,000? 2,000. Okay, 2,000 set. And we'll just add a little speed for gust factor. Yeah. Twenty five hundred. Flaps one five. Flaps one five. Speed checks. Got runway in sight already out there. Okay. That makes hey, one five indicating. That slope is alive. Fine slopes alive. Yeah. Slide slope capture. All right, gear down. Gear down, speed checks. Three greens down, lock nose open. 
Main air valves, you want me to keep them open? Yeah, for keep now? them open until about 200 feet. Flaps 25. Flaps 25 speed checks. He did say clear to land, right? He did say clear to land. Right. Airbrakes are still with APRs on. Engine sinks off. Flaps are 25. Landing gear down. Nose mode steering. Well, you're in center. Okay, flaps, main air valves, and autopilot yard damp to go. All right. Flaps full. Okay, speed checks. Like I said, I'm gonna carry a little extra speed all the way down. Yeah, I see that 25 now I had one. Yep. We are pretty fat, landing under about 500 pounds under landing weight. Probably won't float it, but we got almost 10,000 feet, so we're okay. Okay, on, on slope, and I know you're carrying 10 extra knots on purpose. Looking good, 1,000 feet. Will be a right turn down there, halfway down. Roger. Hold it. We are configured and clear. One thousand. I'll get the autopilot and the auto damper and the uh, air valve still to go. Okay, I'll keep my hand. Yeah, on. we'll we'll take it down to like two hundred feet. Roger. Autopilot's away. Yeah, damper and main air valves to go. Yep. Dampers away. Okay, main air valves to go and a little high. Yep, correcting. Got a little uh, headwind gust there, brought us up. Yeah, 27, 26. Four hundred. Okay, hitting Three hundred. Well, that was pleasant. Two hundred. That is some wind. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Tops. And my tops, and you got five lights. Eighty. Seventy. Sixty. Taxi via Foxtrot, when pure contact apron, one to one, that's no six. And Foxtrot, over to one twenty one six. Yep. Okay, in here. And apron on Foxtrot. Roger, continue your taxi to General Aviation Apron to follow the uh, marshaler instruction. Roger, General Aviation, we'll look for the marshaler. All right, where's Marshaller? There he is. Hey, okay, we'll leave 250. Up to 10. Two hours and 33 minutes, not bad. All right. I'm gonna shut this off. That doesn't scream at us. Yeah, it's fine. There's okay, and there's our guy. Marshaller, and you are clear on the right. There's almost nothing out here. Quiet day. It is a quiet day here. Surprised.
Okay. All right. That's off. That's off. All right. You got pictures, you said? I got pictures. All right, good flight. So over here on the island, there's this nature trail. It takes you like a half a mile hike or so, and uh, low trees. And it takes you way out here to the tip of the island and actually puts you right underneath the approach path for the airport. So I'm gonna take a little walk out there. A little bit of nature, a little scenery, which is kind of unexpected for this tiny little shoal island out here. Uh, so we're gonna take a little right walk out here and see what we can see. I know I, I took a little bit of a walk out on it yesterday and uh, Came across some hermit crabs, some uh, really cool little uh, lizards, these bright blue lizards. So we'll see if we can find any of this kind of stuff today. But uh, we'll go for a little walk, get some exercise, and we'll go back and relax on the beach. Wakey, wakey. Come on, people want to see you. He's hiding. Cute little hermit crab. Hey Bridget, you know why ducks have tail feathers? Why? To cover their butt quacks. <laughs> I love your dad jokes. <laughs> I store them in my database. So the sun's going down over here on Flamingo Beach. I feel my, feel my uh, sunburn is getting worse, but uh, it's worth it. It's a good spot. So we're going to do uh, sunset here. I think we're going to get up early in the morning and do a little hike. Go up uh, this little volcano hill mountain thing. I don't know what it is. We're going to take a little stroll in the morning. So I'm going to take a little walk out here, have a look at these huts, and uh, see the sunset, hopefully. Good morning, everybody. It's our last day here in Aruba, and uh, we are going to climb Hoiberg. How do you say this thing? Hoiberg. Hoi it looks like Huiberg, but I think it said Hoiberg. I don't know. It's this uh, big mountain uh, volcano structure right in the middle of Aruba, and uh, there are steps that take you all the way up it. Check this bad boy out. That's it. That's what we're going up. I'm tired, and I haven't even started, but we're going to go check it out. So let's go. Let's do it. Me and Bridget are going to tear this thing up. Hey, good morning. Good morning. You guys haven't met Bridget before. She is our flight attendant on the trip. She does a fantastic job, but don't they all? We have to hold her to the highest of standards because she does a great job. This place is pretty uh, pretty cool. It's, uh, it's got lots of like desert-like features. It always feels like I'm in the desert. Look at this cactus over here. Check this guy out. Let's not touch that thing. So, all right, we're going to get to it. We'll see you at the top.
100 down, 500 to go. All right, halfway there, I think, almost, I hope. <laughs> We're getting there. This is a big old mountain. Doesn't look that bad, but it's good. Let's go. All right, we're almost there. Almost there. All right, keep going. Hat went backwards. That means we're serious. It means it's game time. All right. All right, we can do it. Was it 350? Man, we're barely halfway. I wish I hadn't seen that. All right, we're getting there. There's Mama Billy Goat. She's navigating her way through the cactus. A little baby one, look kid. All right, for those of you that aren't familiar with the location of uh, Aruba, it's just north of the Venezuelan coastline. I couldn't tell you the exact distance, a little ways north, but they say on a clear day from up here, you can see the Venezuelan coastline back here behind me. A little windy out here today. Hopefully it's not too bad, but uh, yeah, we can't quite see the coastline today. It's not quite clear enough, so maybe next time we'll be able to see it. But we do get a great view of the airport down here below us. We'll have a great shot of that this afternoon when we take off out of there. But uh, really nice view from up here. Look at this place. Like, obviously, this is the uh, highest. Uh, actually, no, it's not the highest point. I was reading earlier that it's the second highest point in the uh, on the island. But uh, this is where they keep the communications towers up here, obviously. So, uh, yeah. Good spot, definitely a good hike. 600 and some steps to get up here, 541 feet above sea level. Yes, I had to Google that, but I found it for you guys. So check it out. There's cruise ships over here. That's where our hotel is basically. So, all right, time to make our way back down. Unfortunately, got to go check out of the hotel and uh, get to the airport. So see you guys in a little bit. I don't know whose idea flip-flops were. Cause they're noisy, listen to this. Yeah, exactly. Bridget, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, my knees are going to be wrecked, but we're going back down. We'll get there. So I went up and down one time. My legs are shaking at the bottom. That's why I have to keep moving here because they are shaking. This dude behind me over here, he's gone up and down it like four times or something already today. Look, he's going this for guy's an five. animal. This guy, he's going up again. This guy's an animal. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a good hike. Good hike this morning. But uh, yeah, gotta shake it out. Gonna have to go soak in some Epsom salt or something like that. And uh, we're done. So to the hotel we go. All right, folks. All good things must come to an end. So we are heading home. We're at the airplane getting things ready to go. We'll be fired up here in about another hour or so. And uh, so yeah. We had a great time here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along with us, enjoying a little bit of time in Aruba. So uh, definitely leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe if you're new and um, leave that like button if you enjoyed the video. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Keep living the corporate pilot life. See ya.